coming at you with music and fun. And if you're not careful, you may learn something before it's done. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, then you must be a member of the NCC. Huh? What's the NCC? No class cowboy. <laughs> This time I'm gonna. Hey, 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 let's ride the Buck and Bronco today. like the kids are in for a nice few days. Rudy's uncle has a cattle ranch way back in the mountains. And, and I was just wondering if they realize that the day after they get there is Friday the 13th. Yeah, whoop. Oh. Drop your calendar. That doesn't matter, does it? I mean, no one is really superstitious, are they? Oh, no. What, whatever, you see, whatever days that touch the floor, it will be bad luck. So what you have to do is you have to knock on wood and then turn the calendar around and you shake the bad luck out of it. That was close. <laughs> I was only kidding, but some people really take things like that seriously. So let's go up to the ranch and see what the kids are doing. Hey, 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 this is really something. Wow, wow right on. on. This, this is, is neat, man. Ooh. Uncle Joe, Aunt Martha. Hey, gang, this is my uncle and aunt. Sure was nice of you to invite us up for the weekend. We're glad you could make it. It'll do you good to get out of the city for a few days. <laughs> hey, Rick! <sighs> this is my son, Rick. Uh, Rick, this is Fat Albert and the gang. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm hey, we're the kids. Yeah, I'm with him. Yeah, I'm Bucky. I'm Russell. I'll get my horse. You all ready to go? I ride to live. And I live to ride. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. What happened? You kicked the horseshoe. Spit on it. What? Spit on the horseshoe. It's bad luck all day if you don't. Come on, Rick. You put me on. Aren't you? <laughs> Fat Albert, don't you know what a jinx is? Uh, something to do with bad luck, isn't it? That's right. I'm a jinx, Fat Albert. I have to be careful about unlucky things. You watch and see. Something unlucky will happen to us today. Let's go. <laughs> Hey, 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 
stop bouncing around that way. I want to take a picture of you. Just tell it to the horse. <laughs> Now I'm getting some great pictures. Sure is a nice looking horse you have. What's his name? Buster. This year, man, I'm riding is Buster's mother. I helped Buster get born. I raised him from a colt and I trained him myself. And. Stone bruised? I think so. Take a look. Oh, oh sorry, Rick. Hey, Rick. Hey, Rick. Sorry, Rick. Rick. Too bad, man. I told you something unlucky would happen to me. Remember that horseshoe? Remember? I told you so, didn't I? I told you I'm a jinx. It's not too serious, but uh, we better head back to the ranch. Well, that's too bad about the horse and about Rick. He really believes he's a jinx, and as long as Rick goes around believing that he has bad luck and that everything will always go wrong, he will have bad luck and things will go wrong because that's what he believes. It seems to me that Rick has a little problem that he's making into a bigger problem. Come on, man, you can do it. Come on, Rudy. It's yeah, all right. That's all right. Slow right. down, Come man. Down, man. You can do it. Now. Come on, Rudy. <laughs> Yay, Rudy. Yeah, Rudy, boy, Rudy. Rudy. Hey, Rudy. All right. All right. Yeah. Man, I am good at this. But then, I'm good at everything. You're not real good at keeping your mouth shut. <laughs> down for another seven years of bad luck. Rick, you have to stop believing in all of these superstitious omens. It's true, Fat Albert. Just as sure as the eagle flies. Ego, it's time for Legal Ego. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, oh, Welcome once again to Fine Pine Forest, home of everyone's favorite feathered lover, champion of justice, Legal Eagle! <laughs> and the two naughtiest deputies this side of Swampville. <laughs> Mo and Gabby! <laughs> mightier than he who hesitates and gets lost. <laughs> Mo asked me to tell you to send Chipper over to the cafe for lunch. I thought he was with Mo. Hmm, Mo thought he was with you. Hmm. All right, Gabby, you and Mo search the west end of town. I'll search the east side. The 
the park? Oh, no! What do we do? Let's get legal eagle. We don't have time to find him. Somebody has to go up there and get Chipper. Now! Uh, somebody! Who? Somebody! You! Somebody! You, too! Just superstition. Do you believe everything you hear? No, but the place is haunted. How do you know? His own nose marches to a different drummer. Yeah, I always say that. <laughs> Well, today is the day the kids have been waiting for. They're going on a good long ride that will take them deep into the wilderness. Also, today is Friday the 13th. But that doesn't matter. Or does it? What are you looking for, Rick? Just looking. You've been awful quiet all morning. Is something wrong? Yeah, today is Friday the 13th. Did you ever try looking for a good luck omen? I mean, like a four-leaf clover or a rainbow or... Fat Albert, I call it good luck if I don't have any bad luck. Well, lunch is going to be a while. Let's go down by the stream. Maybe we can find some arrowheads. We already have an arrowhead. Huh? There's an arrowhead right there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. That's a big storm. Hey, Rick! Look! Can we get close? 
closer? Sure! We better be getting back! Uh, which stream did we follow down here? Excited won't help. Rick, um, are we lost? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 Luck is just like everything else. If you want to, you have to get out there and give it your best try. And keep on doing that until you get what you want. Now, that's a way of ensuring that any luck that comes along is going to be good. This is Trail Boss calling the ranch. Trail Boss calling the ranch. Over. Joe, is everything all right? Kids are lost somewhere near Buzzard Lake. Call the search and rescue team and tell them we need a chopper to pick me up at Harmon Pass. The kids are lost? Oh, no. Joe, no one can find anything in this storm. We have to find them fast. This whole area is about to be hit with flash floods. Rick, you just can't sit there and mope around about bad luck. What do you expect me to do? You can change it. How? By forgetting about it. Luck isn't going to save us now. What you know about these mountains and what you can do will save us, OK? You just can't let things happen and call it good or bad luck. You have to do whatever it takes to make things go the way you want them to go. Understand? OK, Fat Albert. If you're willing to take a chance on me, then so am I. The first thing we need to do is find some shelter. OK? Yeah. All right, Rick. Right on. Yeah. This rain is too heavy. There'll be flash flooding soon. We have to get up to high ground. We need to build a signal. Then we, listen, here's what we have to do. Well, it looks like Fat Albert was able to help Rick out after all. It's funny, sometimes a problem can go on and on and you just can't seem to solve it. And then you just happen to be at the right place in the right time, and all it takes is a few words from the right person. See, and that would be the end of the problem. And once it's solved, it seems so simple. You wonder how it ever got to be a problem in the first place. This doesn't look good, Joe. Not good at all. Let's get down closer. We need some kind of signal from the kids. Well, they can't build a fire. I don't know what they can do. I don't know what to look for. The storm's too heavy, Joe. It's going to knock us down if we stay here. We can't go without the kids. We'll come back in as soon as the storm eases. It'll be dark by then. I'm sorry, Joe. We just can't fly in this. Wait! Over there! What's that? Well, they, they had berries for dinner, and they gathered enough wood to, to last until morning. Not bad. I don't think I could have done better myself. Well, they had dinner. They're all dry and warm and sound asleep. You're standing here cold, wet, hungry, and tired. I think I'd rather be with them than with you. <laughs> well, you're right about that. I almost hate to wake them up. The kids and I really want to thank you for letting us come up here. We had a great time. I'm glad you enjoyed it. You're all welcome anytime you want to come back. This is for you, Fat Albert. It's my way of saying thank you. What is it? It's all of my good luck stuff. Horseshoes, an eagle feather, a rabbit's foot. Thank you, Rick. But why give it to me? I don't need them anymore. From now on, I make my own luck. 
I guess Fat Albert is right. You do make your own luck, but still there is something about superstition. I mean, everyone has his or her own lucky, unlucky things. I, I think that if carrying a lucky coin, wearing a hat that makes you feel better, then I guess it's no harm in doing it as long as you don't take it seriously. Of course, I'm not a superstitious person myself about anything. Um, it, it's just that uh, then again, why take unnecessary chances?